This is weaving a bookmark part five. In this session we're going to make a tassel and I'll show you how to take pretty much take your weaving off its loom. <clears throat> so in our last session we got all the way up to the top. We wove all of our string all the way up to the top as far as we could. We took the bottom off these two little tabs on the back. You simply just take this piece off and take this piece off so that you have these two little hanging down pieces here and you're just going to take your fingers and scrunch it down as far as you can and then you're going to weave more in between here what I told people to do last time is to take some tape and simply tape it down so that these <coughs> warp strings were still fairly tight so that you could you know weave in and out of there without having too much trouble <clears throat> but at the same time then it'll be easy to undo at the end so tape that down if you need to continue weaving till you get all the way up to the top as far 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 as you possibly can because we're going to need to loosen it later after you put our tassel on so you need to scrunch it up scrunch down scrunch down and put as much yarn in as you can so making a tassel looks like this if you flip your loom over you've got these two little tails on the end that we left um, and told you to leave there on purpose okay what you're gonna do is you're gonna get this variegated yarn variegated means it's different colors so you can see here it's like greenish color and then it turns to like this pinkish color and then it's white so it kinda includes the cool colors and the warm colors and the neutral colors so it's got all those in there what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your two fingers and your thumb you're gonna hold the little the little end here on your middle finger and then you're just gonna wrap it around your two fingers really not that hard. Don't pull so tight that your fingers get scrunched together, okay? You have to be loose and let um, and let the string just kind of lay along your fingers. Don't pull so hard, okay? And you want to just wrap it around. I'm being loose and gentle so I'm not pulling my fingers. And then when you get done you've got you know a loop of yarn. Simply set it down okay like that and you're gonna need a second piece of variegated yarn now I'm gonna use an orange piece because I want you to see it okay but you're gonna use a variegated piece because you don't want everyone to see this so you're just gonna take a, a you know a medium size ish piece of variegated yarn and you're going to take one of your tails and stick it through this loop that you created okay now, actually what I should have said is flip this over first and undo these two tails so that they're in front okay then you're gonna stick one string through like this and kinda slide it down as far as you can and you're actually gonna tie these two pieces together okay you're gonna go left part over the right part and under okay then you're gonna take the right part this one over the left part and under and right at the end of this demonstration I'll do a big big knot tying with that okay with the big yarn okay so you have that knot tied pull on both sides so it's nice and tight and if you want to you can trim just a little bit off there now if you pull this loop it's kinda stuck on there right this is gonna be our tassel what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that extra piece of variegated yarn that you've earlier cut and you're gonna just kinda hold this gently and slide it right up so the variegated yarn is, you know, close to that edge. What I like to do is cross these over and gently, you know, notice I'm holding it kind of with one with these fingers. I'm going to then wrap it around like once or twice. Okay, just so we can have it wrapped around there. And then hold your tassel, what's going to be your tassel, hold it down and just pull that fairly tight so it's a nice tight tightly wound around there. Then you're just going to tie another knot. You're going to tie a right hand over left hand and under. Then pull it tight. And then you're going to take your left hand, this one, over your right hand and under the hole and pull it nice and tight. And that should hold. If you want to, you can do it again right over left and under, left over right, 
an under and just put two knots in there that'll hold it really nice then you simply take this orange piece which is actually a piece of variegated yarn right and just cut it okay and now I'm going to grab the other piece here cut it now this is going to blend in nicely just like this example here it's going to blend it. you can see it there now if you're looking for it but otherwise it's going to stand at, st not stand out because it matches right now to get all the tassels down there you simply stick your scissors through here and cut all of them okay if your scissors aren't sharp enough or strong enough to cut you can just cut one or two of them and then cut the next couple and then cut the next couple if you slide your scissors back and forth like this that'll probably even work better than really snipping down on it and there you've got your tassel all finished okay now what you would do to finish is you would kind of flip this back and then you'd take this last piece off here's the last loop on the back you'd simply lift that last loop off and now since my example really isn't finished I'm just gonna show you what it looks like this is what it looked like before on my finished example it was kind of scrunched down like this then you just kind of push it up unscrunch it you know gently evenly unscrunch it so that it fills in that space up to your tassel okay so that you've like got a nice even weave all the way up to your tassel okay and that is how you finish your bookmark part five of finishing your tassel